y'all and welcome to today's video. I have the new Cosmic Brushes Muse Palette. We are going to do swatches, three looks. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this beautiful, beautiful palette. Look at this gorgeous color story. I can't wait to play with it. If you're new here, I want to say hey. My name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week, so I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today. But I am so excited to be playing with this palette, so let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, I tried Cosmic Rushes for the first time last year with their Serenity palette, and I love that palette so much. I do have a video on it. I've used it in some Get Ready With Me's, I think, and then it ranks really, really high in my palette ranking for the whole year. So you can definitely check out those videos if you're curious. So when I saw that Cosmic Brushes was releasing a new palette, I could not wait. So Cosmic Brushes did send me this palette. This is launching on Friday. Friday, February 10th, and it's going to launch at 9 a.m. PST. I will link this down in the description box. This palette, I looked at the conversion. I think it's going to be about $23. Dollars. This is a UK-based indie brand, indie brand meaning independently owned. So this is a 20-shade palette. Let me let me show you a close-up of this palette and swatches of it. This is a 20 shade palette with 12 mattes and eight metallics. Three of the metallics are duochromes and one is an iridescent. I am super duper excited to be creating looks for y'all. I do have an affiliate code with Cosmic Brushes. If you decide that you want to shop Cosmic Brushes, you can use code Heather to save and get a bit of a discount. I'll also put that down in the description box. But with this palette, I want to do three looks for y'all just to kind of give you some inspiration if you were thinking about picking this palette up or maybe you're on a low buy and no buy you want to shop your stash see if you can recreate these looks or maybe you just want to hang out either way i'm so happy you're here what i'm gonna do we're gonna create a look today i'm gonna prime my eyes for shadows i'm gonna zoom y'all in close and we're gonna create a look well we're gonna create three looks and then i'm going to jump in and give you my final thoughts at the end and so yeah, let me put on eye primer and we'll get to it. Okay, so for today's look, I kind of want to do like, I want to do several mattes like in the crease and crease area. But what I want to start with is Sweet Pea, this really beautiful shade right here. And then after that, I want to move into Filigree, this more mossy shade. Uh, this palette does have a really nice mirror inside. But I'm going to start with this beautiful Sweet Pea shade by pressing it on to the inner part of my crease and blending it up and around. This is a really, really light pastel shade. So I'm just going to build that up on top of my eye primer right here. I did prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot. I'm going to test a couple of different primers with this palette in the video for y'all. Okay, so then I'm going in with filigree and I'm going to be careful when I get to where these two shades meet because I definitely want to make sure that this doesn't get muddy, but that you can see this kind of pinky purple color and then you can see this olive I really like that there are so many more kind of like cool tones in this palette. I think that's really, really beautiful. Okay, so now what I want to do is take, let me see, this shade right here, Inspire. And I'm going to put down my Carla Fix Potion. It's just like a glitter primer, glitter glue on the lid. Something extra sticky. I'm going to go in with this shade. And then I want to go in with Luster. So Inspire and then Luster. Okay, so I'm going to take Inspire. And I'm going to put this kind of in the center of my lid. Just pressing it on top of the Fix Potion first. 
before that dries down. And I'll go back and blend in just a second. But I want to go ahead and get this kind of iridescent shade called Inspire down as well. So I want those two shades to be right there on the lid. And I'm going to bring them up pretty high. I'm bringing this Inspired shade even up a little like above my crease or above my socket so that we have that shade like really, really, really showing. And then once I have both of the shades on top of that fix potion, then I'm gonna go and blend a bit, but I don't want to let the shades get muddy. So I'm just gonna be very careful, making sure it stays like the cool tone pink to the green with a nice fade rather than like trying to blend them together. Okay, I'm really, really liking how these shades are looking on the lid, but let's move to the lower lash line and let's go in with Willow first. After I do this shade, we're gonna use Water Lily, that beautiful like lime green to kind of blend. But I've got this, all the brushes I've been using so far are Sigma brushes and I will link everything I can down in the description box but I'm just going to use that to put right up against the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this very fluffy brush with that shade Water Lily, and I'm going to buff this to kind of bring out the shadow more, but with this more kind of lime bright shade. So I'm just gonna pull it out to kind of elongate the shadow. And I'm also gonna bring it around and down like this. Okay, so I wanna highlight the inner corner with the shade Luster that we put on the inner part of the lid. So I'm just gonna keep the same brush and kind of wrap that around. Oh, I love this look. This is one of my favorite looks. Like this is one of my favorite looks I've done. Oh, I love the green and the pink. Okay, okay. Oh, I love that so much. So I'm gonna put my black Adept eyeliner on the upper lash line, but I'm gonna take this Melt eyeliner in the shade Olive. It's kind of this yellowy shade. I wanna put this in the waterline. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do, like I said, Adept Black Liquid Liner on the top lashes. Top lash line, I'm gonna do mascara and I think I'm gonna do like a really wispy lash and I will be right back to show you how it all comes together. But this is our look. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. I added some Mykonos Light Lashes from Lily Lashes. I love this look so much. Like this is, I just feel like I, I live in like, the Shire. I crawled out of a mushroom and this is how I look in the morning. Like I'm so <laughs> into it. Fairy vibes. I'm here for it. Let me tell you what my lip is. This is the One Size Lip Snatcher Precision Lip Filler Pencil in Pink Remix. That's a mouthful of a name. This is the Sigma Liquid Lipstick in Dapper. And then lip gloss is the Pat McGrath, the one I bought in the Star Wars collection. It's the Lust Gloss in Pale Fire Nectar. And then the blush highlight is from this palette. I don't know if these are still available. This is Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and Glow Cheek Palette in Nude Venus. So I will put everything in the description box, but the highlighter is Sunset Nectar and the blush I kind of mixed, but I think the main one I used is Divine Rose 3. So that's how I completed this look, but I do want to show you two other looks that I filmed yesterday and then I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts on this palette. Okay, I am very excited. We're gonna be doing two different eye looks today because I want to really play with this palette. Like, 
I'm just gonna play right now. <laughs> and so I have my Sigma Ignite eye primer over here. And what I wanna do starting out is I kinda wanna start off with this shade right here called Softly. It's calling to me. It really is that kind of gray tone. So I've got my brushes here in front of me. I'm gonna grab my Sigma brush and I'm just going to kind of like pack that all in the crease. I am gonna pack it on first like this and then I'm just going to softly blend it. This is a very light shade but it has some really pretty pigment to it. Like I can see the gray straight away. So I really like that. I'm just gonna blend back and forth. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is grab this other little Sigma brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Pine right next to Softly. And I'm gonna take this and pop it right out here in this outer corner. I love doing a dark outer corner and I think this green along with this kind of gray shade is going to be so beautiful together. So I'm just going to kind of work it like that. I'm going to lightly take it under the outer corner of my lower lash line and just buff it around like this back and forth. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my BK Beauty 203 and I'm gonna go into Patina, this beautiful green shade. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna spray my brush and we're gonna go all over the lid. So I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna put it on the lid and I'm gonna take it up high, right here to the socket, down, and I'm just kind of Pressing it first like this and then I'm going to blend to really really enhance that sparkle gosh that's such a pretty shade I'm gonna dip back into softly and just kind of re-emphasize it right here maybe even bring it in a little further and buff like that I mean this is so beautiful it's performing just like the Serenity palette. Oh, it's beautiful. Now for the lower lash line, I want to bring in this shade right here called Fig. This really beautiful, kind of like cool toned brown. And I'm going to just work that right here under the lash line. And really kind of press it on and then buff it a bit lower. That has a really, really beautiful undertone to it. I like that a lot. I think that looks so cool next to these greens. Okay, so that was a Sigma brush. Now I want to go back with this BK207 and I'm gonna dip into Haze right here, this lighter brown shade. And I'm gonna bring this even lower just to kind of diffuse that deeper brown. I'm not taking it right on top, but kind of underneath it. Just like that. I'm just lightly, lightly touching the bristles against my skin. Nothing harsh, not a lot of pressure at all. And then for the inner corner, I feel like I have a lot of options here. I think I could do a lot of different things, honestly. I could do this shade or this. I could do this more pinky shade. And I'm debating like what I wanna do. I could even do like this matte lime green. I actually think that would be pretty cool. Or this yellow. Let's do a little bit of yellow. Let's do admire. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yes, that was a fun choice. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I am going to say that this is our finished eye look. I mean, that wasn't a lot of shades. That wasn't a lot of work. Like you saw how effortlessly everything blended. That's a fun color story. I'm actually gonna put, let me see. I'm gonna find, what it, here we go. Costa Riche from MAC. And I'm gonna put this in my waterline 
And I'm going to do a lash, but I want to do the other eye first. And I'll do black liner too. But here is the eye look. Here's going to be our first eye look. Now I'm going to prime my eye for shadow and I think I'm going to keep this same shape so that, I mean, that's what I like to do when I'm wearing two different eye looks is kind of keep the shape the same, the depth level the same, just different colors. So let me put on eye primer and we'll do this eye, but oh, I'm feeling this over here. Okay, so over here on this eye, we're going to do kind of the same color placement, just with different shades. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Petal, and then I think I will deepen it up with Rosewood. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, so my eyes are primed, and I'm going to put this shade Petal on with my Sigma brush, and I'm definitely going to kind of do the same placement that I did with that gray green shade from the other eye just going on like this back and forth okay now I've got that deep dark shade called rosewood and this is definitely like a brown that's a little like purple leaning does that make sense? Like it's definitely a neutral, but it kind of leans purple. And I'm going to put it in the same placement that we paste the darker green over here, wrapping it just a little bit and blending outwards. Okay, what I want to do now is go in with the shade right here called Muse. So the shade with the palette name, this is going to go all over our lid. Okay, so I'm taking that. Oh, that is such a pretty shade. Oh my gosh. Like a pink with a gold iridescent type shade. Oh yeah, that is so beautiful. Okay. That is stunning. Okay, okay, okay. But I have an idea. And it's going to deviate a little bit from what we did over here. But that's okay. That is okay. I want to take this small uh, Sigma Sam Rabin doll brush and I just want to go in with a little bit of amethyst. So I'm going to pick that up and I want to put this right in between our shimmer and our matte. So I'm using just a little bit. It's not going to be a major amount, but it's going to be just a little something right here. So I'm just pressing that shade down and then lightly kind of blending it so we just have a little something to that fade okay so instead of doing a matte under the lower lash line what I want to do is go in with this shade right here I think this is going to be really pretty this one called whisper and then maybe we'll do antique for the inner corner. I think that's going to be really pretty. And just do like, that way it'll be like shimmer, shimmer, shimmer around. I think, I think that's going to be the move. That's going to be what I want to do. So let me just find a brush. Here we go. And I'm going to take Whisper just right here. I'm going to start by pressing it on. I always try to be careful with the lower lash line because I've said before, but I can get to talking to y'all and not paying attention and I can just like fluff shadow in my eye. So I want to keep this right on the lower lash line. And if you wanted to use this shade and make it even more intense, you could put down like a colored eyeliner underneath and then come on top with this shade. I like how like ethereal that looks. I'm into it. And then I'm taking that shade antique on a pencil brush and that's going to be the inner corner highlight. That's a really pretty iridescent shade. I love it. Oh, this is looking so great. Okay, so just wrapping it like that. And I do think I'm going to put a little bit of purple in the waterline. Let me see what I have. Hmm. Okay, I decided to go with milk. This is the shade Time, and this is actually a blue. I think that's going to be really pretty. 
So on my top lash line, I'm just going to put on a little bit of black liquid liner. I'm going to put on some mascara and false lashes. And then I'll come back. I'm going to use my Adept liquid liner. And I need to figure out what lash I want to do. But these are our looks without the liner, without mascara, without lashes. Now I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back with my finished looks. Uh, I feel so great in both of these looks. I really like them both. I feel like this one over here is very, like, light and fresh and almost, like, ethereal, feminine, fairy vibes. And this one over here, I'm getting more, like, garden fairy, poison ivy esque type of abs like they both have something different that I like about each of them and they were super easy to do like y'all saw that was super quick and easy for me to do so I did put on my adept black liquid liner and then I used the Mykonos light lashes from Lily Lashes but I really like the blue in the waterline here. I like the warm brown in the waterline over here. Everything that I talk about will be linked down below in the description box. I'm not sure if I've already said that, but if you're looking for anything, it will definitely be there. I am wearing my Makeup by Mario Toasty Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick. And then I put on my Pat McGrath lip gloss, the one from her Star Wars collection. It's Carnal Desire on top. Um, I'm testing out still the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Very, very, very much loving these. I'm wearing the Nude Sticks Primer that I've been testing in my other videos. I'm wearing the Juvia's Place Blush Volume 5 palette, but I'm wearing this shade down here at the bottom, my Fenty Bronzer and the Cleona Fruit Lighter Highlighter in Tropico. So that's the other makeup that I have on. And here is one last look at both of these eye looks. I'm super into them, if you can't tell. Okay, y'all, I really hope that you enjoyed all three looks. I had fun creating, and I'm looking forward to playing with this palette even more. This is such a beautiful formula. All the mattes blended beautifully. The shimmers, the iridescence, the metallics, the duochromes, everything was so beautiful, so pigmented, so impactful. I didn't struggle with any of the shades in this palette. I think this is such a fun like more cool leaning green, pinky, purple color story. I, I'm into this. This is so beautiful. I am shook that this palette is like less than $25. It's such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm very, very happy with it. I will put all the details down below in the description box. Again, this is launching on Friday and you can use code Heather if you would like. You definitely don't have to. Everything I talked about today, I will link down in the description box for y'all. I am... I love this look. Like, I love this look. But I hope you're having a great day. I will see y'all very soon in a new video. Make sure you subscribe because I have lots of videos coming. Bye!